Okay, you guys, welcome to uh, class. <clears throat> uh, this hour is a reading, a re reading hour. We're going to be reading a uh, a short story. Uh, now, depending on uh, on who comes in the class, um, uh, we may uh, start at the at the beginning, uh, or we may uh, start um, start off where we left off. But we'll uh, we'll see what happens. The uh, link link is right here. Okay, go ahead and uh, and open that up, and uh, <laughs> yes, you are alpha. <laughs> uh, uh, go ahead and, and uh, open up the uh, the link, okay, to the uh, the short story we're going to be reading. Okay, it's called Stories of the Constellations. All right, it's a story that takes place in Lima, Peru. All right, and uh, let's see who we have in class so far. Darcisio, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. Great. Great. How's uh, how's your day been so far? It's been just boring. <laughs> just boring? Why has it been so boring? Because I don't have nothing to do. I don't have anything to do here. You know, oh, are you still uh, on vacation? Out. Yes. <laughs> I forgot my ID in my city, so I can't get out. What I do you mean you can't get out? Shopping you... mall. Oh, because you can't... Uh... Or, it like what you can't pay with a uh, a debit card because you don't have your your ID with you to prove that you are that person, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. mm. That's a bummer, man. So how long are you going to be in uh, in this other place? Probably more one week. Okay, another another week or so. Mm -hmm. That sucks, man. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you can figure something out to do. Yes, but it is All coming right. for me. My mother okay. sent me. Okay. All right. Well, welcome, uh, welcome back to class. Good to have you here. Thank you. Uh, Yasra, how are you? Hi. Thank you. Hi. Welcome back. How are you doing? Good. Very good. Excellent. I thought you were going out today. Uh, no, no. I have uh, three more hours of teaching, and then and then I go out. All right. So uh, yeah. So right now it's only uh, it's a little past two o'clock. Okay. Right now, yeah. So it's not no, it's, uh, it's not that late. Yeah, it's okay. late for you, but not late for me. <laughs> yeah, but I did uh, for lunch. I had uh, I had some chicken and avocado with uh, with uh, um, some uh, wheat tortillas and uh, and lettuce. It was really good. Oh, very good. Very Loved delicious. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, anyway, welcome welcome back to class. Uh, let's see. We have Max. How you doing? Max, how are you? Okay, uh, let's go to let's see Mario. How you doing, Mario? All right. Make sure uh, your guys' microphones are not muted. How about uh, Liliana? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are there we you? go. Finally got someone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I, I just uh, take my lunch and wash the dishes. So I, I'm ready for your class. Great. What did you What did you have for lunch? Lunch, uh, as well as you, a uh, chicken uh, with salad and um, pot uh, potatoes. Um, no, that's all. There you go. <laughs> and um, uh, fruit juice, uh, strawberry juice. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's all. Very good. Well, welcome, welcome back to class. Good to have you here. Thank you, Chad. All right. Uh, okay. uh, my uh, microphone uh, oh. was muted. Muted. Sorry. Oh, okay. How you doing, Max? Yeah, I'm doing well. Thank you. What about you? I'm doing really good. Welcome back to class. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. Very good. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mario, did you get your microphone working? Yeah, yeah, I was loading when I oh, was okay. entering class. Okay, everything yeah, is I don't fine know, now. I don't, I don't know why it does that, but it, it automatically mutes you. It uh, automatically yeah. assumes that you're going to be like screaming as you come into class, like, nah! <laughs> but uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, I don't know why it mutes you, but it does. All right, welcome, welcome back to class. How, how are yes. things going, Mario? Oh, uh, yes, everything is fine. Everything, same world, but uh, fine. <laughs> All right, okay. excellent. Uh, let's see. How about um, 
uh, uh, Asim. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, hey, hey, how you doing? Uh, thank you. And you? Uh, I'm, I'm doing great. Thank you very much. And uh, Asim, it looks like you are from Turkey. Is that right? Yeah, I'm from Turkey, and this is the, my first time logging uh, this website. And uh, I don't cool. know, I don't know the procedure. Uh, can you tell me what is the procedure is here? Um, yeah. So basically, uh, what happens um, in uh, it, right now? Okay. So Verbling has two different uh, uh, products right now that they offer. All right. Okay. Uh, you can uh, um, connect uh, live with someone else who wants to uh, learn your language. Okay, and you want to learn their language, and you practice. Uh, you practice switching back, back and forth uh, the different languages. I believe for about thirty minutes. Okay, now we also have courses or classes like what I teach, uh, which are English classes, and we also teach um, Spanish classes, classes for the time being. And uh, and what uh, what happens in in here? Uh, we go through. Well, this this particular class is a reading and pronunciation class. So we're going to read through a short story. We read about uh, two, maybe three, uh, three paragraphs. Then uh, then we practice our pronunciation. A lot of people have certain items that they're working on and trying to improve on, and uh, and so we, we uh, work through it and see uh, and see how our uh, see how we are improving. Okay. Uh, there's other classes that uh, that happen as well. Um, that uh, that deal with grammar, uh, speaking. Um, uh, reading comprehension, uh, in vocabulary, things like that. Uh, so those there, there's a whole bunch of different uh, classes. Okay, that go that go on not at one time. There's probably only right now. There's probably maybe two, uh, one or two English classes and maybe one or two Spanish classes right now. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's about the gist of things. Oh, this is very nice. Excellent. Well, welcome, uh, welcome to Verbling. It's good to have you here. Thank you very much. All right, and let's see, Alberto, how you doing? Hi, I'm doing fine. And you? I'm doing great. Have you uh, have you started your weekend already, Alberto? No, not yet. My weekend starts on Sunday morning. <laughs> oh, really? So you work yeah. through Saturday? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, well, welcome back to welcome back to class. Good to see you again. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, Aga, how are you? Hello, really good. How are you? I'm doing really well. Thank you for asking. Good to have you here. Thank you. Uh, and Avida, how are you? Hi there, Chad. How, how are you doing? doing? I'm doing good. Doing great. Good to Excellent. see you. Yeah, good to see you again, man. All right, you guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, so uh, we are going to be practicing our, our reading. Okay, uh, the link, uh, Alpha put the link in, uh, I as well put the link in uh, down below. Okay, go ahead and open that up. When, uh, when you do, uh, this is what you'll see. We have a lot of, uh, of uh, new students back, so we're actually going to start at the beginning of the story um, this hour. Okay, uh, and I'm going to start over on the uh, right-hand side with uh, Yashra. And uh, Yashra, let me have you read the first two paragraphs, please. Okay. The road to Ramat Medina is long and winding. It curves through downtown. Lima passed Spanish colonial buildings guarded by policemen dressed in olive green and carrying plastic shields and machine guns. Past the outskirts of the city dusty slums Populated, like, populated, by populated by car parts, stands and stray, stray dogs. Best the mountain, covered in shanty towns with houses built of cardboard, thin wood and mud, with chickens running all over the rooftops. Finally, it reaches a vindia. Benjamin Franklin and the arch over the small roadside park proclaiming proclaiming the entrance to Ramat Medina. When the taxi driver pulls into the neighborhood, the street is busy and alive, creaming with sights, smells and sounds. It's Saturday morning, so no one is working. Women hail the 
taxis that fill the narrow side street, spinning by and honking frostly or frostly to attract passengers. They pile their children inside and clutch, clutch straw bags on their shoulders, already looking tired and head off to the market to stock, to stock up on the week's food that they can't find at the corner Bodja. This particular taxi, like most of the others, is nothing more than the driver's personal car, an old gray Toyota Corolla, with the word taxi written in block letters in the corner of the windshield. All right, very good. Thank you very much. Uh, let's uh, let's practice some uh, some words here together, okay? okay. Um, first off, I want to practice the the word the. Okay, here at the very end, you had said the wind the the windshield. Okay, that word is the. Let me have you repeat that. The. Okay, good. The. All right. Yeah, so we're gonna go from um, uh, written written right here. So we're gonna say written in block letters in the corner of the windshield. Okay. Okay. Go for it. Written in block letters in the corner of the windshield. All right, very good. Now, I didn't hear you say the, the all over the place. It was really that, that last one, but I wanted to bring it to your attention, okay? okay. Um, now, we had, we had some uh, new words here, I would imagine. Uh, this word here is bodega. 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 Okay, this is it's a store. Okay. okay that's really what that is, a store, okay? Mm -hmm. um, uh, the next word is furiously, and this may be in the first word. Ah, oh, goodness, where'd you go, furious? Oh, here he is. All right, so the word is few, furiously, furiously. Furiously, furiously. Yeah, furious, furiously. Furiously, furiously. There you go. Okay. Okay, and uh, let's see, let's go to narrow. Uh, let's see, narrow. Narrow? The third uh, word. Third word. Oh, yeah. There we go. First word. Third. Uh, third line. Okay. Uh -huh. That's narrow. Give me a good R sound. Narrow. Narrow. Okay. One narrow. more time. Narrow. 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 Right. Okay. So what you're doing? You're rolling your R. You're saying ner. Narrow. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Give me an R sound. Er. Ner. Ner. Narrow. Okay, no? so uh, yeah, you what you're doing right now, your tongue is hitting the top of your mouth, it's vibrating. Nero. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to pull your tongue down, all right, and it and it curves like this. Okay, we say nair, 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 nero. Okay, hold your tongue down so it doesn't hit the top of your mouth. Nair, nero, nero. There you go, one more time. Nero, nero, no, okay. Almost. Nero. Okay. Nair. Nero. Nero. No. Okay. Na All right. We'll, we'll keep. We'll keep working on that. Uh, that R. And furiously, you were able to say the R just fine. It may be that word because you see two R's, and it may be playing a trick on you. Okay. You may be okay. thinking, oh, there's two R's, and I have to roll it. Um, let's. Uh, let's go to our next word. The word is proclaiming. Uh, right here. So we're going to say per, proclaiming. Proclaiming. There you go. Proclaiming. proclaiming. Okay. The proclaiming. accent goes at the very beginning. Right there. Pro. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It goes uh, on this uh, on this a. You're pronouncing it at the very, very beginning, saying proclaiming. The word is proclaiming. Proclaiming. All right. Switch your switch your accent. Okay. You're saying proclaiming, and we need to say proclaiming. Proclaiming. All right, so um, right now you're you're emphasizing the very beginning, saying pro, proclaiming. All pro. right, we need to we need to switch that and not say proclaiming, but say proclay, proclaiming. 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 Okay. proclaiming. There you go, proclaiming. Proclaiming. There you go. Okay, so that, that's that stress. That stress needs to be on the on the a. Okay. Okay. Um, now let's go back to that one word. The word is populated right here. Let's practice that one more time. Populated. 
populated. Good, nice job. Okay, and uh, this word here. Uh, sometimes it can be very confusing because it's spelled exactly like wind. Okay, mm -hmm. but um, when you see when you see an ing, that it that means that it's in the verb form, and the verb form is wind. Okay, wind is oh, a noun. Oh. Oh. Is it now? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you see uh, um, uh, ing, that means it's a verb, and that would be winding. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Winding. Good. Good. Nice job. Yeah. All right. Thank, thank you, Yashra. Thank you, Chad. All right. Sure. No problem. Let's uh, let's go down to our next uh, couple paragraphs. This is for Tarcisio. And Tarcisio, let me have you read this next paragraph in about uh, half, ha about a little more than half of this third one here, or second second paragraph. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Tarcisio, is your uh, mic working okay? All right, let's go to uh, Rafael. All right, let's go to Max. Yeah. All right, Max, go ahead and, uh, and read from the taxi driver uh, until uh, it says wood or bricks, okay? Yeah, okay, I got that. Uh, let me have you find the beginning of the paragraph. It's the third oh. paragraph. Oh, oh, okay, I got you. Uh, the, the taxi driver makes eye contact with a woman standing on the corner and pulls over to pick her up. Her na name is Sati. She is young, <clears throat> late twenties. Maybe the driver guesses he watches her in the rearview mirror as she gets in. Her face is tired and her her hair is shelled already even even though it's on only 8 a.m. <clears throat> she sighs as she directs him to downtown Lima with a resignation that seems too deep for such a simple direction he senses that she needs someone to talk to but knows that that isn't his place. He has driven people to and from Gromiti Medina for 20 years, but he knows better than uh, to interfere in the lives of its inhabitants. Inhabitants. Yeah, so inhabitants. He, inhabitants. Inhabitants. So he shifts his gaze to the street in front of him and presses the ignition. Okay, and uh, continue into, into this next paragraph too. Yeah. As the car pulls away from the curb, a group of teenagers walk by, chatting and laughing. The crook brick houses crowd each other and the street. Occasion, occasionally, Interrupt by a bright blue, red, or yellow house, often all three colors in one. Sporadically blinking neon signs reading Odega hang on every other house. Place where you can buy Inca Cola, the national drink of Peru, as the billboards proclaim. Beer or sublime chocolate bars and little, little else. Okay, Above. just tell there. All right. Okay, a very good reading, uh, Max. Okay, your R sounds are doing uh, are doing very well. Okay, um, the ending words that have R. Okay, those sound really good. Uh, T sounds and and uh, D sounds as well. Okay, excellent job. Um, okay. I have uh, I have uh, a couple words here that I wanted to practice with you. Okay, uh, the first word is right here. The word is interrupted. Interrupted. Okay, yeah, give me an id sound at the end. 
interrupted. Interrupted. There you go. Okay. Now this word right here may be a new one for you. The word is sporadically. Okay. Now, even though it has an O-R, okay, we would pronounce that spur, sporadically. Sporadically. There you go. One more time. Sporadically. Sporadically. Okay. And sporadically means non-consistent or not consistent. All right. All right, so let's uh, let's let's say con let's take a look at consistent. So if you have something that's consistent, let's talk about a blinking light. A blinking light that's consistent, okay, follows a pattern. Okay, something that is not consistent or sporadic would go like this. Okay, so that would be sporadic. It's not consistent. It uh, it it does it does not follow a pattern. Okay, so that's that would be the difference there. Okay, all right. Let's uh, let's let's roll. Let's go to uh, driven. Okay, so uh, give me a good dr sound. The dr is sometimes very difficult. That's dr driven. Try that, please. Driven. Okay. Dr driven. Driven. Okay. All right. Nice. Uh, and uh, we have one new word as well. This word is disheveled. Disheveled. Okay. Good. One more time. Disheveled. Disheveled. All right. Yeah. And so when you talk about hair that is disheveled, okay, it means that it's all messed up. Okay. So hair everywhere. It's not in. It's not nice. Okay. It it looks like you you may have just woken up. Okay. So that uh, that would be disheveled hair. Okay. Like messy. Messy. Huh? Uh, yeah, like messy. Messy. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. You can also say that a person looks disheveled. Okay. Not only hair, but uh, but disheveled. So if you see uh, someone that may be homeless on the on the uh, road that does not have a home, okay, uh, maybe uh, dirty. Okay, uh, their clothes may be torn. All right, um, things like that. They may have shoes. They may not have shoes. Okay, you could say that that person looks disheveled. Okay, so they're they they look messy. Okay, so that's that's a that's a really good word. And we use it for hair and then the whole body appearance. If you look uh, if you look uh, dirty or uh, and it's more it's more when um, when uh, someone could have done something about it but didn't okay so if I'm working outside okay in the yard and I get dirty okay you would not say that I look disheveled okay but I because I was I was out and I was working and I'm more than likely going to clean myself up okay but if I if I uh, um, if I come into class oh, I won't do it all right, and my my hair is like this. Okay, it's all it's all over the place. Okay, and I come into class and I look like this. Okay, you may say, Chad, what what's going on? You look so disheveled. Okay, I could have done something about it. Right? I could have I could have come into class and and uh, comb my hair a little bit more. Right? Okay, so that's when we that's when we use the word disheveled when someone uh, could have or should have done something about it, and uh, and it's more more about their looks. Okay, all right, uh, let's uh, let's continue. Let's go to Mario. Yep. Chad and uh, yeah, sorry, what's up? I couldn't click on my microphone microphone because I my Firefox was frozen. Really okay, <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, you want to read? Yes. All right, let me uh, let me have you read, and then I'll go to you, Mario. Okay. Okay, no problem. All right, so let me. Uh, we're right here where it says above, and Tarsicio, let me have you finish off this paragraph, and read the next two uh, medium-sized ones. Okay, go for it. I start with above. Uh, yes, with above the living quarters. Until where I can. See Until the. Uh, and then read the next two paragraphs. So you're going to finish off that, that paragraph, and then read the next two small paragraphs. Still work today? Yes. Okay. Above are living quarters of 
the owners rooms stacked upon each other unevenly, built whenever there was a little extra money for some wood or brick. Laundry hangs from lines on the roof, bright clothes waving in the breeze. Concrete balconies just jut out from the walls and some windows have metal grates across them. Electrical lines stretch across the skies and TV antennas reach up from the roof. The street is still littered from the previous night's parties. Broken bottles in the street, radios left on the front step. Across the street from Isabel and Maria live the dogs. There are three all ownerless dogs that perpetually wander the rooftops, walking over the lumber and brick. Isabel loves the dogs. She always calls to them when they walk by, ignoring Maria's warnings about diseases and ugly little little bugs. A motorcycle drives by with a little boy sitting between his father and the, and the handlebars, smiling his hair blowing the wind. A man bicycles by selling chica, chicha, what's that? Chicha, the homemade corn beer, so coming in this part from a cart on the front of his bike. A trio of men, all about 30 years old, sit on the curb and drink out of old brown bottles. Occasionally, a few of their words are audible, and then laughter. They wise are going to the market, and they don't work today. Okay, very good. Excellent reading. Uh, let's practice. Uh, I've got three words for you, okay? Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, so chicha is a, is a drink, okay? Uh, it's a corn beer, all right? And, all right, the word I want to practice, or the words, okay, the first one is per, yeah, per, uh, perpetually. Where did you go? Here it is. Okay, so, yes, yeah, so this is perpetually. Per perpetually. Yeah, perpetua, perpetually. Okay. Perpetually. There you go. Nice. Okay. Um, and ownerless. Ownerless. Yeah. Ownerless. So you, you can you can pronounce that as less ownerless or ownerless, and use ownerless. more of an a uh or an i. Mm -hmm. Okay. We wouldn't say le, but an a uh or an i. Either one. Ownerless or ownerless. Ownerless. There you go. Yeah, so all ownerless. Try that. All ownerless. Good. Okay. Um, and the word littered. Uh, where'd you go? Bugle in the corners. Of the, 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 the parties. Where was? Where were we reading about the parties? Um, I can't. See. Well, the word is littered. And oh, here it is. Okay, and, and here uh, you had read it as literate. Okay, oh, so that's okay. littered with the ed ending. Try that. Littered. Littered. Good. One more time. Littered. Littered. There you go. Good. Good. Yeah, everything else sounded uh, sounded re really good. Okay, excellent work. Mm -hmm. Thank nice you. pronunciations. Okay, let's go to uh, Mario. Hmm? And Mario, let me have you read. Um, this, uh, these next, uh, next two, let's see, we can do the next three, next three paragraphs here. Okay, go ahead and, go ahead and do that, please. Okay. Inside a gray cement house, uh, Isabel and Maria hurry through the temples. Their mother said he made them in morning before she left for another day of job hunting. They sit at an old wooden table cluttered with papers and dishes hidden silently. When they finish, they rush outside to play in the bright mid-morning sunlight as they do every weekend. Maria brings out their new red balls still shining from when they got it at the market last week, picking 
it out from a stand full of toys, notebooks, and pencils. They'd uh, been good girls waving behind their mother through the butcher's stall, huge canvas bags and spices, and all the people pushing and showing. So she'd bought them a rare present. Sadie gets out of the taxi after rustling through her purse for exact change to pay the driver and walked to the glittering entrance of the hotel. The doorman stopped her on her way in and asked if he can help. She tells him she had a job interview. He directs her to the back entrance. At the end of, uh, of an alley is a large metal doors, door, rusted and dented. She pulls at the handle and the door swings open in onto a chaotic scene of maids dressing, time clocks being punched and the smell of laundry being done in the used steam vats. An older man in olive green tutored scrub directs her to the office of her interviewer. She thanks him and waved through the crowd toward the design de designated door. Okay, good. Let's uh, let's practice some words, Mario. Mm -hmm. um, this uh, this word here is designated. Designated. Okay. Good. One more time. Designated. Designated. Okay. Um, let's practice our th sound on this word. You had said tanks. Okay. The word is thanks. Thanks. Okay. One more time. Thanks. Thanks. There you go. That was perfect. Okay. Uh, now this word here, the word is chaotic. Chaotic. Ch chaotic. Excellent. Ch one, mm -hmm. one more time. Chaotic. Chaotic. Good. Good. Okay. Now this word, um, uh, pay attention uh, everybody in class. Uh, the word is hotel. The accent is at the end of the word. Okay. We don't say hotel. It's hotel. Hotel. Uh, all right. So make... Yeah, so make a note of that. Okay, good. So one more time, Mario. Uh, hotel. Hotel. Good. Okay. Uh, this word here, the uh, E-A in the word is a long E sound. Okay. So the word is we, weaving. Weaving. Good. One more time. Weaving. Weaving. Okay. Uh, one more word. The word is cluttered. And let's see if I can find it. Cluttered, right there. Cluttered. Cluttered. Okay. Cluttered. 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 There you go. That's it. One more time. Cluttered. Cluttered. Good. Excellent job, Mario. Very good job. Thank you. All right. Let's go to Liliana. Mm -hmm. And Liliana, let's uh, scroll down. Okay. I'm going to go to... Okay. Let me have you read... Uh, these next, okay, these next three paragraphs, and we'll do uh, we'll do a little bit. Uh, we'll go to them in this uh, fourth paragraph. So, okay. Uh, until then, okay. Until then, yeah. Okay. And the office is sparsely decorated with a cheap wood desk, chairs with cushions whose stuffing is coming out at the corners and nothing on the walls. The man at the desk is not any more impressive. Greasy hair and a thick mustache, top off a cheap suit and the smell of cheap cotton. But Sati greets him politely and energetically, holding out her hand to shake his. The interview goes relatively well 
until he finds out uh, she's a single mother. They've employed single mothers before and they've had problems. Having to take days off to take care for sick children was not acceptable. She assures uh, him that someone else can watch them, but uh, he's not convinced. Besides, uh, she has no experience, no reference. A simple girl from a poor family on her own with children in the city. After leaving the hotel, Sati feels the hopelessness washing over her. She has been searching for jobs uh, for weeks without any luck at all. That was the last place on her list. Uh, she crosses the street and starts to walk in the park. But after a couple minutes, she feels dizzy. Sitting down on a nearby bench, she watches the people walk by. Try as she might to distract herself, she can still think only of her situation and worry about her girls. They are her world and if only uh, she could provide for them. But she has done all right. nothing. Ah, yes. Yep, I just all right there. Good. Yep. Okay, good, good. Thank you very much. All right, let's let's uh, let's take a look at uh, some short I sounds first. Okay, uh, the word is mi, minutes, minutes. Minutes, minutes. There you go, one more time. Yeah, minutes. Okay, good. Minutes. Uh, now the word, the word here is list. List. Okay, now these two are, are difficult. Okay, because I know you're thinking of minutos and uh -huh. lista. Okay, <laughs> yes. so I know I know that's what you're thinking of. All right. So yes, these are these are difficult. So one more time, list and minutes. List and minutes. Okay, give me another a short I, I, mi, minutes. 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 There you go. Okay, uh, this word here is convinced. 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 There you go, convinced. Okay, all right. Let's uh, let's take a look at assures. Where did assures go? Uh, she she assures. assures. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, uh, so not assures, but assure. With the that double S would be uh, an here it is. Yeah, an uh, SH sound. Okay, assures. Okay. Um, assures. Assures. Yep. All right. Now this word here, um, the word is cologne. Okay, so just uh -huh. like hotel, uh, the accent goes at the end of the word, cologne. 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 Okay, now cologne, cologne is, is what uh, men wear, okay? It's mm -hmm. like perfume, but for men. Uh -huh. Okay, so men wear, per or, sorry, men wear cologne, women wear perfume. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, uh, so men, will we, will we understand you? Guys, if you say, um, I bought a new perfume for myself, Yes, we would understand you, but it just sounds, it sounds funny, it sounds different, okay? Mm -hmm. So men wear cologne and women wear perfume, okay? Um, yep, and uh, one, one last word, this word is cushions. Cushions, uh, in the first sil syllable? Uh, yeah, in the first one, cushions. Cushions. Uh -huh. All right, yeah, and it, uh, there should not be an apostrophe there. All right, mm -hmm. it should just be an S there at the end. So cushions are the uh, um, are what on, on uh, are what are on the sofas. Okay, mm -hmm. so the, the the big pillows that you sit on. Okay, those are called cushions. Mm -hmm. All right, so you could lift them up. Okay, they may be sewn on, but that's what you sit on uh, on a on a sofa or a couch. Those are called cushions. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Yeah. Other than that, very very good reading. Yeah. Excellent reading. Okay, <laughs> thank you, sir. We had a lot of a lot of new words. Okay, that's why I wanted to uh, to read this one. She she used a lot of uh, good descriptive words and a lot of new words that you guys aren't used to. Mm -hmm. So really very good. On. Let's let's go to uh, uh, Eliana. Yes. Hi there. How are you? Fine, thanks. You? Good. I'm doing really well. Thank you for asking. <laughs> and. Let's uh, let's have you uh, continue. Okay, so uh, we're going to start off uh, with the word "but" and yes. go down go down to where it says "Pablo taught me." Okay. Okay. 
Okay, but she was done nothing but harmed them. Never will Sati forget the day she walked into Maria's room to find her and Juan Carlos, her seven-year-old cousin, playing grown-up. At the time, she had been dating a man from a few blocks away named Pablo. Things were going relatively well. He drank a little too much, but he seemed to like her a lot, and he got along with our kids, which is more than she could say for the other man in our life. When she opened the door to Maria's room, it took her a few moments to look around and process the scene. Then she started yelling, What are you doing, my hija? She had screamed, Stop! Stop! Juan Carlos, go find your mommy. Put your clothes on. Carajo. Juan Carlos ran out of the room, eyes wide, pulling up his pants. Maria had started crying. Sati came down and put her daughter to her chest and stroked her hair, trying to dry her tears. When she had stopped crying long enough to speak, Sati asked her again, Mihika, what were you doing? Uh, where did you learn that? Then came the sentence that tore Sati's word apart. I was just showing him what Pablo told me. All right. Okay, very good. All right, so uh, if you got that connection, okay, Pablo is the guy that's dating the mother. Okay, so something gross and creepy is going on. All right? So let's, uh, let's practice some words here. Okay, Eliana? Um, yes. Uh, I, I mainly want to practice your TH sound, all right? Your ED okay. endings are great. Your ED endings are great. Stopped, asked, stroked, okay? Started, pulled. Uh, they're, they're fabulous, okay? Your, uh, your S sounds, your T sounds, things like that. They're really good, okay? But I want to focus on your THs, all right? So, okay. uh, for example, this is a voiced, sorry, uh, an unvoiced TH, okay? It's things. Try that. Things. Things. There things. you go. There you go. One more time. Things. Things. All right. Now we're gonna try the voiced th. Okay. This word is very common. The word is the. Okay. The. Let me have your yeah. The. The. Okay. So. Um, when uh, when you were reading through here, you were you were saying duh, okay, using a D sound. So, for, for example, um, when you had uh, uh, also with the word den, okay, so you came through and uh, you had said which is more than uh, she had she could say for the other, okay, with that th as well. So we're going to practice this sentence. Okay, and we're going to focus on those th sounds, uh, and and we're going to. I want you to practice pronouncing them thoroughly. Okay, so which is more than she could say for the other men in her life? Okay, please repeat that. Which is more than she could say for the other men in her life? Okay, so. Um, when we pronounce that uh, that th sound, okay, your tongue is going to be between your teeth. Th than, okay. Please repeat that. Th than. Than. Okay. Good. All right. How then. about other? Of other. Other. Okay. Uh. Other. Other. Okay. So let's let's try that sentence one more time. Uh, take it nice and slow. And make sure to pronounce uh, that th. Get a good vibration on that uh, those th sounds. Okay. So than the other and men. Okay. Go for it. Which uh, which is more than she could say for the other men in her life. There you go. That's right. Okay. So, um, yeah, you may uh, you may need to focus a little bit more on those th sounds while you're reading because everything else okay. sounds really good. Okay. okay. Uh, just so Thank that you, you can uh, have those pronounced. All right. Very good job. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Let's uh, let's go to uh, Blairton. How are you? 
Hi, I'm very, very good. Thank you. And you, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Uh, let me have you read this uh, next uh, small paragraph here, as well as a pretty good chunk of this next paragraph. So down to where it says what she wants. Okay, go ahead and read that, please. Okay, just a... Uh, the girls pass the ball back and forth, chanting the rhymes they have known as long as they can remember. The ones they learned from their uh, friends back when the other girls would play with them instead of passing by silently, only to burst out in giggles when they uh, thought it was safe. And now they just have each other. The ball uh, bounced uh, rhythmically of the concerts. Thrum, thrum, thrum. Uh, little clothes of dirty rising from where it hits the street. Uh, then it slips bodily, bodily out of Marius' bridge and rolls slowly down the street, stopping a few yards away. Uh, she starts to run after the ball, then a strong gust of white pours down the street and sweeps the ball further away from the from her grasp, stirring up with it dirty and s small pieces of trash uh, which stumble uh, low the air to dirty other do doorways. No, the ball has rolled over towards uh, the man of the curb. Uh, Maria freezes for a moment, torn. Uh, she wants the ball back uh, and knows she has to get it. Her mother will be upset if she uh, loses a new ball, especially if it's it's because uh, she was afraid of this man. And she isn't really afraid of her man. She knows all about them, uh, what makes them do what they do, and how she can get them to do what she wants. OK, all right, very good job. Uh, nice, nice work with your uh, TH sounds there. I could tell that uh, you were you were focusing on pronouncing those THs. OK, and they sounded really nice. OK, uh, let's uh, let's practice uh, some words here. Um, first off is the word rolled. All right, rolled right here. OK, that is an ED ending. The word is rolled. Please repeat that. Yes. Uh, rolled. Okay. Yeah, good. One more time. Rolled. Rolled. Okay, good. Uh, now, this word is, uh, um, is going to be the noun. Okay? So at the beginning of the story, we had, we had the word winding, which is spelled the same, but we have an I-N-G at the end. But this word is the noun. Okay? This is wind. Please repeat that. Wind. Wind. Excellent. Okay. Um, now this word here, uh, you would uh, read this as concert. Okay. Very close. Okay. Concert would be the uh, R and the E would be flipped. Okay. This word is concrete. Uh, yes. Con uh, concrete. Yeah, concrete. Now this is what uh, sidewalks are made of. Yes. Con okay. We also make houses out of concrete. Okay. Concrete, yes. Good, okay. Now this word here is rhythmically. Rhythmically. Uh, rhythmically. Good, one more time. Rhythmically. 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 Okay, uh, the accent's at the beginning. Rhythmically. Not rhythm rhythmically, but rhythmically right here at the on that Y, that first Y. Try that one more time. Rhythmically. Rhythmically. Good. Okay. Now, this word here is silently. Same thing. The accent is at the very beginning of the word. Silently. Silently. Okay. Move that accent back. You had said silently. Okay. The word is silently. Silently. 
Okay. Now uh, listen carefully. All right. This is how you are pronouncing the word. You're saying uh, silent, silently. Okay. I want you to accent the beginning. Okay. Silently. Try that. Silently. There you go. That's it. Nice job. One more time. Silently. Silently. Okay. Silently. Um. Silently. Okay. Now this word here is rhymes. 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 Good. Good. One more time. Rhymes. Rhymes. Very good. Thank you. All right. Excellent reading. Let's go to my next Thank reader. Uh, Antonio. Oh, sorry, not Antonio, but Al Alberto. Apologize. Um, Alberto, let me have you read. Let me have you finish. Uh, finish up this paragraph here and read that second par the the following paragraph. Okay. So, um, well, let's see. Is that right? Give me give me a second. I have to do what she wants. I th think. I forget. I think we're at, here. At least. I forget. Okay, so. At least uh, she thinks. There you go. That's does. it. Yep, go, go ahead and read. Okay. At least she thinks she does. She seems hard and leaves things that made her older than 12 years. But they still make her literally nervous. This man, she's seen one of them leave the house early one morning and sneak back across the street to his wife's bed. She hadn't been able to sleep and had gone to the window for fresh air. Imuevate, Isabel calls. Uh, go, go get it. Maria goes, showing all those to the back of her head. They won't have noticed you. She, they won't even notice you. She tells herself they are too busy gossiping, and they say uh, women are gossips. She walks timidly in the direction of the ball, eyes averted. As she nears the man, she hears the them logging and joking. She sees them taking swing on of the uh, chiha and sees the empty bottles already on the, sto on the stoop. She's aware of their stairs and the comments directed uh, towards her, but she ignores them. Then one takes an empty bottle and throws in her, in her way. Hey, Punta, catch, catch this. The bottles meshes inches from her feet, sending shattered glass all over the street. The man low uh, and hassled the man for his poor aim. Maria picks up her ball and runs away. Once across the street, she nearly runs into Sandra, the older woman who lives next door. Okay, good job. Uh, let's let's uh, practice some words here, okay? Uh, first yes. off, I want to practice this R right before we get to woman, okay? So you said older and rolled that R. Uh, Let's practice uh, the older there. woman. Older woman. Oh, uh, old, uh, the older woman. There you go. One more time. The older woman. The older woman. Great. Okay. Now this word here is empty. Empty. Good. When you when you had read the word, you had said empty, adding an H in uh, front. Yes, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No no H in front, just the E. Okay. So one more time. Empty. Empty. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Now this word here. Okay. The word is laughing. That uh, G H uh, uh, is it makes it an F sound. Laugh. Laughing. Try that. Laughing. Good. One more time. Laughing. La laughing. Good. Okay. Now, good job with the word gossips. Okay. Uh, the word gossiping is very similar. The accent is at the very beginning of the word, and that is an aw sound that the O makes. Gossiping. Gossiping. Good. One more time. Gossiping. Gossiping. All right. Now, this, this word here, 
shove. Okay, this is gonna be an uh sound. Shoving, shoving, shoving. Okay, instead of shove, it's sh. Get uh, uh, drop your uh, your. There you go. Shove, shoving, shoving. Excellent. Now uh, shoving. Okay, shoving is like pushing. Okay, push. Uh -huh. Okay, shoving. Push. Okay, you can also uh, you can also uh, use that as uh, someone shoving something in your face. So uh, maybe uh, maybe I have a particular political view, and I and I shove that in your face. I say no, this is the way to do it. So I can verbally shove something in your face as well. So shoving physically is actually pushing, but we can use that in a uh, um, uh, in a uh, theoretical way as well. So not a physical but uh, um, a verbal way, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, very, very good reading. Nice job. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. Uh, all right, Aga, let me have you, uh, let me have you, you uh, read as well uh, to finish up. All righty. Thank you for waiting, waiting patiently. It's okay. It's worth that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I know it's some, sometimes you get to go at the very beginning and other times you go at the very end. Yeah, okay. it's okay. <laughs> All right, let me have you read the next three paragraphs, please. Okay. Come on inside, Maria. San Sandra puts her arm around Maria's shoulders and ushers her into her house. I've made some cakes for you, too. Come and eat with your sister. She turns and glares at the, at the man on the stop, her disapproval as visible as the rays of sun cutting in between the houses before she follows Mar Maria inside. Maria. Come have some of the of this cake. Mmm. Isabella's voice wafts out from the dining room in the back, and Maria runs to join her sister. All thoughts of the man and the bowl left behind. The girls sit in the wooden table in Sandra's small dining room, eating the small sweet vanilla cakes she has baked for them. Sandra walks in and opens the refrig refrigerator drawing out two bottles of Inca Cola. She opens them and sets them on the table, then sits down herself. So, girls, tell me, how is school going? They immediately start to babble about school, their teachers, classmates, what they are learning. They tell Sandra about their recent test, and the other girls in the school who giggle uh, in little groups at recess. Maria talks about her progress in English, which she loves. She can read simple books and talk about her family and the world, all in a thick Spanish accent. Okay, excellent job. All right, let's uh, let's take a look at uh, at a few words here. Okay. Yes. All right. This uh, this word right here. Okay. Recess. 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 One more time. Recess. Recess. Great. Now, uh, the word recess, okay, has two meanings, class. All right, uh, two meanings. All right, first one is when you are in school and usually in grade school, so that means when you're younger. Okay, the break. So when you go and break and go and play, we call that recess. Now, um, in, uh, in the court system, okay, if you watch uh, Law & Order, ever, okay, Law & Order or Law & Order SVU, sometimes they have it, have it playing. Okay, what they say is they take a recess. Okay, um, that is a break. Okay, so if you are at a business meeting or you go to court in the United States or something like that, and you hear the uh, the uh, judge say, "All right, let's have a 15-minute recess," or you're at a conference and say, and they say, "All right, well, let's take a, a recess for for a little bit." That means a break as well. Okay, it doesn't mean you go out and run out and play in the playground, but you're just taking a break. All right. Um, uh, let's go to uh, another word here. Okay, the word is vanilla, and I want you to focus on the short I sound. You had said vanilla. Okay, it is vani vanilla. Vanilla. There you go. One more time. Vanilla. Vanilla. Great. Okay, and vanilla. That's going to be your your white your white cake. All right. So one mm -hmm. last word. Uh, stoop. That double O makes an O sound. Stoop. Stoop. Okay. Now, a stoop is the same as a step. Okay. But uh, a stoop is usually going to be outside. 
Okay, so uh, if you have, if you know some uh, some uh, boys or whatnot that sit on the steps in front of their house, okay, they also uh, we could also call those steps a stoop. Okay, so sitting on the on the stoop, and it may be I think the actual definition is the last step before you get to uh, the actual uh, sidewalk, but it's something like that. It's a it's a stoop. It's one of it's it's one of those steps. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, uh, Aga. Other than that, uh, great pronunciations. Okay. I didn't hear any other uh, strange sounds or tr strange vowel sounds or uh, consonant sounds. Okay. Uh, very good job. Excellent thank job. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for for coming to class. Um, it was good seeing a lot of familiar faces as well as a, a couple new ones. Okay. Please, uh, if uh, if you're new, uh, follow me on on Vergling as well as on Facebook. Okay. I'd love to. Uh, uh, get your comments or whatnot. Um, my next class is actually a beginner's class. Um, we're going to be uh, doing a reading comprehension. So a little bit different than what we just did. Okay, here we practice pronunciation more than anything. The next class we're going to be making sure that we understand that we're reading. Okay, taking a look at vocabulary words and answering questions. Okay, all right. Thank you guys. We'll see you. Thank you, Chad. See you. Chad. See, you. Chad. see you. Bye. See you. Bye. 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 Gracias.